Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about enum. An enum is an abstract data type with values that each take on exactly one of a finite set of identifiers that we specify. Enums are typically used to define a set of possible values that don't otherwise have a numerical order. Although each value corresponds to a distinct integer value, the enum hides this implementation. Hiding the implementation prevents any possible misuse of the values to perform arithmetic and so on. After we create an enum, variables, method arguments and return types can be declared of that type. So if you are coming from any of the programming background, you must be aware about an enum. Enum is basically used to provide set of possible values a specific data type. So you can create a data type out of set of possible values and then after that specific data type can hold any of those possible values. Basically in any language like Java, enum have some distinct integer value. But in Apex, enum hides this implementation. This is interestingly very helpful as well because hiding the implementation prevents the use of enum in any arithmetic purpose or in any arithmetic calculation. As enum is an abstract data type, we can use this as any other data type in form of creating variables, passing as method arguments and returning return types for a method. Unlike Java, the enum type itself has no constructor syntax. To define an enum, use the enum keyword in our declaration and use curly braces to demarcate the list of possible values. As you can see, See, here we created an enum for weekdays where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are possible values of this weekday enum. We can also create a similar weekend enum for Saturday and Sunday values. One point to be noted here is enum is having this opening and curly brace and hence we won't use any semicolon to end this statement. This curly brace itself is ending or demarcating the block of enum. By creating the enum, we also create a new data type. Now the name of this new data type will be the name of the enum itself. For example, here we created two data type weekday and weekend. We can use this new data type as we would use with any other data type. We can create variable of it like here we created a today variable of the weekday type and we can assign value to it with the help of weekday dot any possible value in the block of that enum. So here we assign Monday to this today variable. Similarly, we can create another variable to use the weekend enum. We can use an enum in any place. We can use another data type name. If we define a variable whose type is an enum, any object we assign to it must be an instance of that enum. Any web service method can use enum types as part of their signature. In this case, associated WSDL file includes definition for the enum and its values, which the API client can use. Definitely, web services and web services methods are quite beyond this syllabus, but web services can use enum types as part of their signature. We have a certain file named as WSDL file for every web service. Now that WSDL file will include the definition of enum and its values and that can be used by the API client of the web service. We will discuss about it when we will discuss about web service in our course. Apex provides system defined enums like system.statuscode, system.xml tag, system.rounding mode, system.display type, etc. Now make sure that system defined enums cannot be used in web service method. Now it might be clear to you that enum can be used to create data type for some specific set of names that can be represented as name of different status, name of different categories or name of different conditions or situations which can be represented in program. So it's pretty much of talk about enum and now it's time to see the things practically. So guys, here we are in our developer console and let's create a program for enum data type. So guys, as you can see, just like in our example, we have created weekday and weekend enum over here. And here I have created two more methods other than the show method. 
Now show weekday method is accepting the weekday enum and show weekend method is accepting the weekend enum. I have created this to show you that enum can be passed as a method parameter. Now inside this show method we have created two day one and day two enum variables and assigned specific enum values to them. As I told you if you create any variable of a specific enum type then that can hold values belonging to that enum itself. Now we call those weekday show weekday and show weekend methods over here with those specific variables and we printed those variables inside this method. So now let's see what output it will provide. So guys as you can see the weekday is printed as Friday and weekend is printed as Sunday. So that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care.